What's going on YouTube? Here we are. It is a Sunday and I just got a package. Well, I got this package a couple of days ago. I haven't opened it yet from Dr. Drone. Dr. Drone is in Nova Scotia and I got myself some polarized filters. So we're going to open these up. We're going to go test them out. So here we go from Dr. Drone in Nova Scotia. These are the ND filter set direct from DJI. It's got an ND 4, 8 and 16. So we're going to take these out, we're going to do some comparisons without the filter and we're going to do some comparisons with all three different filters, so let's go! And just a quick shout out for the packaging here, this DJI packaging, really nice. to note here I did forget to change the ISO from 200 to 100 when I went into manual settings for the ND4 and the ND8 filter I did remember to change that back for the ND16 uh, doesn't make too much difference um, the shutter speed was still too fast during the day just because it was so bright even with a uh, ND16 filter I was not able to get down to the ideal setting at 1 48th of a second which uh, according to the 180 rule shooting at 24 frames per second. I wanted to be down at 1 48th of a second, but I was only able to get down to 240th of a second. So what you're looking at here on these examples is the smoothness, the, the natural blur is what you were looking at. Nothing to do with the, the blues in the sky or the way the, the light looks. It's all to do with the, the motion blur. So hope you guys found something useful here. Very small differences, but you are finding the, without the filter, it's a little bit more jaggedy and with the ND16 filter it was a little bit more smooth so at the end of the day this is not an ideal time to be shooting and the golden hour is the better time so hopefully during the golden hour I'll be able to make more use of the ND16 and get down to that ideal shutter speed of 1 48th of a second so thanks for watching and I will see you all about.